modern woman may want the authority of a man, the privileges of being female, but with the accountability of a child. Let's take a listen here. We're going to have a woman tell us what all women really want. And in her explanation, she's going to snitch on herself and most of these quote unquote empowered uh, females. <laughs> right. But she's going to expose the flaw in feminism, but particularly when you're dealing with the modern or the American feminist. Let's take a listen. What modern women and often feminists don't tell you is they actually want and need you to take control. What they truly want is for you to lead, to be the leader, not to control them, not to be dominating of them, but to lead. And the key is they want to make sure you lead in a way that makes them able to let go and feel safe with you leading in a way that actually makes them feel cared for and taken care of. In short, Women want to be able to surrender to your masculine power. Don't believe me? There are millions of romance novels out there read by women, and that is the common denominator. And so what does taking control look like? It means making decisions, where you're going for coffee, what restaurant you're going to eat at, or at least give her some options to decide from. But you're making some of those decisions. Consideration to her if she's got allergies. And if you're facing a problem, she wants you to be able to put your big boy pants on and deal with it effectively. In fact, she just wants you to deal with it. She wants you to decide on a course of action. Now, all of these are skills that can be developed because when you start taking the lead, things become more effortless. She'll respect you more and your relationships will be smoother sailing. Eve, what modern women and all... Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'll just say this is why women... <sighs> I'll say this if you if there are men out there because there, there's there's a woman out here right now that 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 be selling like masculinity courses to men or they be giving a they be coaching men how to be real men. I, I I've seen this from like you know the Sarah Don Moores. I think I'm saying her name correctly, that other broad. But this is why women give like they just give terrible advice. It's it's always very broad. It's always contradict it's always contradicting to what men are seeing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It never makes uh, sense. Now, off of what she's saying, off of what she's saying, you see most of the comments. Off of what she's saying, most of these comments have it spot on. They're literally just saying, just stay single, guys. Just stay single. Because what she's asking for is a is a superior. So, like low key, she's asking for a dictator, but she still wants to say well, that 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 doesn't work in a dictatorship. There is no first of all. There's no democracy here. There's no democracy. So you're asking for him to do this, 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 this. Okay, you know what? Okay, fine. What are you going to do? What she's going to do is still want to do what she wants to do. But you still be the pet wallet. You still fill in the blanks financially while she spends her own little money on frivolous things that don't matter in the grand scheme of things. While you still are in control of most, while you're still going to take the blame for most things and she could just still be goofy. And then at the end of the day, because she has her own money, she can still say it's a quote unquote partnership. <laughs> That's what they want. This is this is the problem that I have, particularly with American feminists or Feminists in the West, in, in in the West in general, you're talking about Australia, the UK, you know, uh, America, where it's it's convenient feminism. Convenient fe feminism when it's convenient for them. Where the man still has to do everything, but he can't tell you what to do. But you want him to take care of everything. You still want him to dominate and li li like I'm talking about dominate in everything, but he can't dominate you. What, how, how does that work? How does that work? And at the same time, they're going to go to their job and literally listen to everything the boss is, the boss tells them to do, without without a fight. And it, 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 let's just listen to the video again, and I'm just going <laughs> to point out the uh, everything that she's saying wrong here. Often feminists don't tell you is they actually want and need you to take control. What they truly want is for you to lead, to be the leader 
Now, it is true that women do want a leader, but they don't want to do the things required to be led, right? So you'll hear, you'll even hear like women will say these these things. Like I'll, I'll hear this, like I'm talking about uh, in churches and shit. You, they'll be talking about you have to let your man lead. What do you mean let your man lead? Either you want to be led or not. It's no, like I said, there's no, it's no democracy here. There's no democracy. All this shit about you, like they'll, they'll say this in front of men. So like you gotta, it's almost like when they say you gotta let him lead. It's almost like, oh, I could do it by myself, but I'm just going to let you imagine, imagine, imagine if a peasant or some, no, fuck it, say a, re a regular citizen, right? Because to say peasant, that would be lowly. I'm going to say citizen. Say if a citizen went to the person that owned the block, right? The Whoever the uh, 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 gangster of the block that allows people to come and go off the block. And he just comes up to the gangster just like, I only let you frisk me. <laughs> I, only, I only let you uh, 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 allow me to go where I please. That gangster is going to look at you like you're funny <laughs> for saying something some, some crazy like that. So like language, because I hear that all the time. And it's really demeaning language. It's they, I don't know why men have let women go, um, get, in, get in the way with saying that. Talking about let. What do you mean let? Let them lead. Let, let them lead you. Not to control them. Not to be dominating of them. But you're literally asking for a superior. You're, you're going you're gonna to see. She's going to go through the list of all the things she wants, wants the man to do. But you don't want him to dominate or control you. But you're literally asking him to do everything. But to lead, and the key is, they want to make sure you lead in a way that makes them able to let go and feel safe with you leading. In, this is why. In a way that actually makes them feel cared for and taken care of. <laughs> so, this is why I always tell dudes, if you can't, particularly black dudes, if you can, just leave the black community. Because they'll literally say, we need mentors, we need black leaders, we need our black men to lead us. But then when you lead, don't lead that way. <laughs> it's like so when you actually take charge they have a problem on how you take charge and i'm like no 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 no, no. If, if the man is taking charge he's taking charge you have no say this is not a democracy but this is what usually happens particularly in the black community if, if a man actually stands up <clears throat> it's going to be mainly women that's going to have problem with his leadership <clears throat> in short women want to be able to surrender to your masculine power don't believe me there are millions of romance novels out there read by women, and that is the common denominator. And, so and she's just thinking about Fifty Shades of Grey in, the, in these these things. <laughs> so, what does taking control look like? Uh -oh. It means making. So th this is this is here. This is here. She's going. She's going to tell us uh, 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 what a real man should be doing in terms of quote unquote taking control, but not controlling the women. Let's 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 hear. Let's hear decisions where you're going for coffee what restaurant you're going to eat at or at least give her some options to decide from but you're making some of those decisions consideration to her if she's got allergies and <laughs> you see how it cut off, cut off when she kept going she realized she was going on and on and on and it was literally counterproductive to the point that she was trying to make so she forgot to cut that part off completely <laughs> That's that's why I was la the first time I heard this. I was laughing in the middle when, when that part cut off because she just because she realized she was going on and on and on on what the man is supposed to do in terms of I, I want you to control but not control me and then you end up listing all these things that you want the man to control but you don't want him to control you. How does that work? <laughs> if you're facing, a so I'm glad she caught herself there. <laughs> problem. She wants you to be able to put your big boy pants on and deal with it. Effect. Meaning financial problems, meaning if, you know, the roof go, uh, the roof is leaking, the car is not working properly. Anything that requires real hard work, she wants you to deal with it. So anything that requires real effort, she wants that dude to start slaving away because she's not going to deal with it. Effectively. <clears throat> In fact, she just wants you to deal with it. She wants you to decide on a course of action. Now, all of these are skills that can be developed. Because when you start taking the lead, things become more effortless. She'll respect you more and your relationship. Now, man, if you like, for example, if you do all of this at first, she'll actually uh, she be like, man, this is cool and blah, blah, blah. But over time, trust me, over time, she's going to be like, you never let me do anything. You never let me make decisions. You're controlling. And once you guys break up, she's going to talk about how you're controlling. And she's going to list these same things that she's telling you men to do when you break up. 
she's going to call you controlling. And then when people ask why, she's going to list those same things that you did. Literally all these things, but put it in a negative light to where it actually looks like that. Oh, you you weren't given any options, but <laughs> that's literally what she was asking for. So that, like, like I said, that's a trap in and of itself. This will be smoother sailing, Eve. What modern women and often feminine. But yeah, like I, I, I would say this for her: just, just, just stay single, <laughs> and please avoid women that are because they'll, they'll say they want you to do everything, but they, they <laughs> it was basically they want to give you all the responsibility but with no authority as a man you do all the hard shit but you, you can't control me this 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 is you gotta so i i because i see a comment here and it says had to stop listening to women a while back and i'll say this the faster that you realize i gotta stop listening to women when it comes to these things just just in, or just stop listening to women in general the faster you realize it in terms of when it comes to their advice and stuff like that or what they're asking from a man the faster that you realize you don't have you you don't have to listen to these people, the quicker that you'll actually get ahead. The quicker. <laughs> oh man! Basically, somebody said I'm sick of these women trying to tell men how to be men. Same here. He said somebody said they want to be herded, <laughs> and that's the thing. She and I remember I, I, trying to tell this this dude in the comment section, um, this 18 year old, where it was like uh, a video that I did, um of a so-called independent woman saying that um where she she was like I'm independent but I don't want to be independent so 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 <laughs> basically what she's 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 just tired of being independent and now that she's tired she wants to throw the towel in and she wants to simp to come in and save the day now unfortunately it was an 18-year-old conservative man and he doesn't re he didn't re he's like oh when when a feminist realizes that she's feminine I'm like she's not feminine bro that's not a feminine woman that is a scam artist. <laughs> that is a scammer. And you're still, I don't care what, oh, I'm, I'm tired of the jerks. And it's always around age 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, right? It's always around those, those, those ages between 27 and 35 years old. And usually past 35, you can already see the wall hitting. You know what I mean? But it's usually around that, that period from ages 27 through 32 or 33, where now they're just like, uh, I'm, I'm independent, but I don't want to be. Yeah. I'm like, you better avoid women like that, like the plague, but she's still the same staunch feminist. She's just looking for a sucker to pay off these bills, her student loan debt, her, her debt, her consumer debt in general. So I, I was trying to tell that I was trying to, because Matt, for some reason, a lot of the traditional conservatives, they miss it. And they end up getting into these terrible deals with these post wall ladies because they're about to hit the wall at warp speed. And they fall for that. I need a real man. Nah, nah, nah. You better leave that girl alone. Leave that woman alone. 